Well, hi, everybody. Hope that your week is off to a great start. Uh, we're looking ahead to this coming weekend, of course, Memorial Day weekend, long known as the unofficial beginning of the summer season. And I suspect that most of us are really ready for a season of recreation and renewal to kick back in again. However, let's not forget what the real reason of Memorial Day weekend is, to pause to give gratitude and thanks for the generous, sacrificial love of those men and women who have served in the armed services in support of our nation, who sacrificed, who made the ultimate sacrifice of offering their lives in dedicated commitment and loving service to our nation. So we pray that this um, Memorial Day weekend that we observe as a nation will be a cause of deepened gratitude and renewed uh, resolve on our own to be faithful citizens of this wonderful land uh, of which we are a part. And of course, this weekend as church, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord, the first of four special feasts that will provide a bit of a transition as we start to bring to conclusion the Easter season and segue into the next liturgical season, the season of ordinary time. More to say about that in a future video. However, looking ahead, the actual conclusion of the Easter season will take place on the weekend of June 4 and 5, two weekends from now, with the Feast of Pentecost. And as you've heard us uh, uh, make note about uh, before, we've got some really wonderful things in store for Pentecost weekend. First, at each of the Masses on Pentecost weekend, we'll be offering the petitions of the Universal Prayer in a whole variety of languages that reflect the many different cultures that make up our one spiritual community of faith here at St. Anne. If you may have a language ability, in addition to English, that you would be willing to share to help us pray on Pentecost weekend, please reach out to our parish office. We would love to have your voice among many others, giving praise and thanks to God and supplication in the many languages of the human family. Then, immediately following the 5 o'clock Mass, on Pentecost Saturday, June 4th, we'll be having our International Potluck Supper for the first time in a couple of years, and we're really looking forward to gathering together, enjoying a wonderful menu of uh, delicious offerings from a whole variety of cultures. If you've not yet indicated to us what menu item you'll be bringing and how many folks you think will be coming, please let us know as soon as you can. We're also asking folks to make uh, a list of the ingredients in your item so that those who may have food allergies could be sensitive to their dietary needs. Then, during the 9 o'clock Mass on Pentecost Sunday, June 5, we will be welcoming participants in the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, the RCIA process, from uh, all the years back as a way of welcoming those who have recently celebrated their sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, at Easter Vigil or during the Easter season. We're really hoping that all of our RCIA alumni would come back for a wonderful time of prayerful support. Right after the 9 o'clock Mass, we'll gather together in the Jerusalem Room for some fellowship uh, together. So uh, lots of really good things in store for the weekend of June 4 or 5, Pentecost weekend. And then, the weekend of June 18, 19, we'll be celebrating the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. And we're inviting all of our first Eucharist participants and our RCIA participants who have recently begun to share in the Eucharist for the first time to join us at Masses that weekend. What a wonderful, powerful sign that would be of the important grace and blessing that we might risk taking a bit for granted in the great gift of Jesus' body and blood in the Eucharist. And looking a bit farther ahead, uh, we really hope that you'll mark in your calendars right now and make plans to attend Sunday, June, I'm sorry, July 24 at 6 p.m. here in the church. We are so excited to be able to welcome back the National Christian Choir, 170 voices that will be with us in spiritual concert. Uh, we've been wanting to have them back for a while. They've been wanting to come back to us for a while, and finally, uh, it's safe to do so. We'll be inviting uh, everybody in our Hagerstown community to join and be a part of it. So make plans to be here yourself Sunday, July 24th, two days before our parish 
pastoral feast of the Feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, July 26. So what a wonderful opportunity in the middle of summer to have a spiritually uplifting and inspiring time together, thanks to the great gift and powerful vocal ministry of the National Christian Choir. Finally, uh, a quick word of update for those who were with us at the 9 a.m. Mass this past Sunday, or for those who were viewing us online, uh, you may have noticed there was a bit of a commotion at the beginning of the distribution of communion. Unfortunately, one of our Eucharistic ministers uh, took a wrong step off the uh, sanctuary and fell to the ground. Gratefully, uh, many parishioners came right to that person's aid, including a number of healthcare professionals. Uh, the person was taken uh, for medical evaluation and is beginning the recovery process. So we thank everybody for their attention and their prayerful uh, support. And we ask that you keep our Eucharistic minister in your thoughts and prayers that recovery and healing will be swift uh, and complete. So um, we look forward to a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, a joyful Ascension weekend. In the meantime, God bless you and continued joyful Easter season.